The Lorraine Hansberry Theater suffered the loss last year of both of its founders, Stanley E. Williams and Quentin Easter. It also lost its theater home in downtown San Francisco in 2008. But there's new life and a new future with former ACT core company member Stephen Anthony Jones as the new artistic director. Welcome very much uh, to our program, Stephen. Oh, thank you, Bill. Um, to say that, uh, that the Lorraine Hansberry Theater went through a tough trial would be an understatement. So how does uh, a new artistic director pick up the pieces and keep moving? Well, first of all, uh, the job was already in motion in, in terms of keeping the theater going when, when I arrived. Uh, uh, just like everyone else in the Bay Area uh, theater community, I was uh, shocked and, and saddened by, by the loss of, of two very visionary and important uh, artists in our community. But uh, the board of directors at the Lorraine Hansberry was determined to keep the theater going and did that uh, by partnering with Berkeley Rep and ACT and then producing two shows on their own uh, by hiring a uh, new general manager, Shirley Howard Johnson, who uh, achieved the Herculean task of producing those two shows uh, without you know, really knowing how she would go about doing it. Our 30th season was completed. Uh, this is the last week of uh, our production of Lynn Nottage's Fabulation or the Re-Education of Undine at the Southside Theater. And uh, we're ready to embark on our 31st season. Why is this theater so important? Well, this theater is very, very important because in, in the overall uh, Bay Area mix, we are uh, the only African-American uh, theater that has been producing for 30 years. This makes us one of the longest producing African-American uh, companies in the country. And what Stanley and Quentin like to say always was that uh, African-American stories are American stories. And I think in saying that, what they're saying is that African-American stories belong to all of us, whatever our background, wherever we may come from, because we are such um, an important thread in the fabric uh, of, of American culture. Yet you plan changes. You plan there are nuances to the kinds of things that uh, you would like to do. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I believe um, we've reached a point where this thing that we talk about, multiculturalism, that we've kind of kicked around like a football, I, I think we're finally ready as, as a nation and as a culture, certainly in the Bay Area, to embrace that idea and to begin to examine the complexities of what that means. So what I'm really interested in are, are the places where our lives interconnect and overlap. I'm interested in, in definitions of art and culture that are not exclusive and, 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 and don't emphasize what makes us different, but are inclusive and emphasize what we have in common and what we share as members of, of, of the human family. The fact that Berkeley Rep and ACT were strong supporters of this theater and, and helped it mm -hmm. make this bridge between the death of the two founders, uh, does that give you cause to see a closer collaboration with the other theaters that consider themselves the major houses in this absolutely, country? Absolutely, absolutely. I, I think every theater in the, in the Bay Area uh, theater community is important. And I think one of the things that we all have to come to understand is that collaboration, I believe, is the way forward. Uh, we, we, in the past, it, it was a kind of competitive, and we were over here, and the other theaters were over there, and they did their thing, and, and we did ours alone. But uh, we share a common audience. People who love the theater love the theater. Mm -hmm. and, and usually, people attend more than one theater. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to look for every way that I can to collaborate with, with my sister theaters uh, all over the Bay Area. And, and like I said, I, I, I believe that also involves the very multicultural nature of, of the large community that is the San Francisco Bay Area. So the Bay new Area. season will be what? Well, the new season. We have four <laughs> shows coming up. We're going to open the season with two one acts. Um, Almost Nothing by Marcos Barbosa and Day of Absence by Douglas Turner Ward will be the first offering. 
Uh, we'll have a new Christmas show called Rejoice by Ron Stacker Thompson. Local guy. Uh, yes, he started the <laughs> well, Oakland started, Ensemble started Theater. Here, so yes. guy, yeah. And um, our, our, what is that, our third show will be a piece uh, that I, I'm borrowing from uh, the English playwright Joe Penhall called Blue Orange. And our fourth show is by Pearl Cleage, Blues for an Alabama Sky. We're calling it something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. So who attends Little Rain's answer? I mean, in terms of uh, appeal, is it, is it totally dependent upon a black audience? No, not totally dependent upon a black audience at all. Our, our audiences uh, have come from all over the Bay Area. And I hope in the, the coming 30 years, the second 30 years for the Lorraine Hansberry Theater, that we can broaden that base. That's another reason why I look to collaborate with other theaters, theaters in the East Bay, uh, other uh, ethnically based uh, um, artistic organizations, and of course, my old artistic home, uh, the American Conservatory Theater. You think you're gonna miss that in front of the stage, on the stage? role as you well uh, you, you know uh, as you get older hopefully you change and you get wiser <laughs> and and I'm, I, I will miss uh, performing at ACT but I know that I'll be able to work with ACT again in the future well Stephen we want to thank you uh, very much mm -hmm. for coming and sharing your vision for the future and uh, where the Lorraine Hansberry Theater is planning to go we know that it's had a very much appreciated uh, history in our community. Well, so, thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.